I've used the stereo strings myself for at least 30 years, if not more. Everybody who comes in here, with very, very few exceptions, plays the stereo strings. And they didn't get there because of any reason except dependability and tone. This is a replacement. I had a Rogue sitar that I used for a long time. All right. And then at some point, um, because there were like things rattling around inside of it, and you can't open it up. So if something goes wrong with this, it's um, sometimes hard to work on it. Um, so I just was kind of like, I was like, I need a, a slightly fancier version of the thing I've got. So I, I found these guys. Um, and it's a Jerry Jones All right. uh, sitar. And I mean, it's it's great. I don't know. It's, um, it's very fun. It's on a lot of my favorite records, the sound. And it's like a nice novelty. Um, thing to have and some of the uh, songs have this as like an important part of the sound so I, I have this still on the road. What, um, how yeah. long, how much would you say it gets used on stage throughout the night, you know, fifth, probably um, not 50-50? Two songs. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, two two songs, yeah, so, you know, 20% of the yeah. set or, or, or even less, but it's nice to switch over. Um, totally different gain staging. Could, could we hear a little bit of it? Just yeah, like maybe sure. how you're using it compared to the Baronic here? Um. Man, that has a very distinct, like thumbprint or voice. You know, what I mean, it's yeah. it's it's certainly its own thing. Even while you're just playing the standard six strings, it has a very unique voice. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, psych and soul music that I love. You know, like have these the, the sound. You know, sixties music was like a a big pop um, staple for you know all kinds of different records. It's fun to play, yeah. and it's like a totally different sound. Like it sounds like a guitar, but it plays like a guitar. So I don't know. Do you ever miss with the the upper register strings? I don't actually know these that. things. Yeah, yeah. Um, like if we're like if it, if we're kind of like improvising or something like that, I might mess with it okay. a little bit. But it's not part of any song. Mm -hmm. um, it would be you know I kind of want to keep it so that like if this thing broke in half on the way to the gig or something. I can just play it on the guitar without it like completely ruining it. But um, but these are cool, and I think this these these kind of like resonate while the, this is playing and kind mm -hmm. of like contribute to the kind of sound of it, the strange sound of it. But um, it has like a strange tone uh, control. Like it, each one of these is a separate. Um, I guess it's more like a Gibson mm. like um, thing, and I'm not really. It always annoys me like that. I prefer really dumb, simple. You um, like a master? Yeah, so like one does it all type of thing. Yeah, I think I would go Sonic Youth with it, you know, if I could, and just take all of it, away. <laughs> set it to the you know the one setting that I want, and just not have any control over it. But um, but it still looks cool. Yeah. They look like knobs look cool. That's why there's a kind of bunch of buttons and stuff on that that I hardly ever use. I just kind of feel like it looks cool. It's very space age. Yeah.